Hi, in this video I want to show you how and why I organize my plugins. I want my workflow to be as smooth as possible and therefore I do it. Maybe you can get some ideas of how you should do it. When I'm working with music, either writing, arranging or mixing, I want my workflow to be as smooth and quick as possible. Therefore, I always name my tracks, I always color them, and that is applicable to plugins as well, because the longer time it takes to find a plugin, the more energy I've lost spending time on that. I will show you now how I do it in Logic Pro X, because that's the door I use the most. If you use another door, uh, probably you can do it as well, just google it and you will find it. But let me show you how I categorize my plugins first. So I made a few categories, 19 of them actually. I have a lot of categories because I don't want so many plugins in each category. It makes it easier to find. So the first one of course is EQ, where I have my EQs. Then a compressor folder, compressor category. Next one is multi-compressor. I made that a separate category instead of having it in the compressor because I use them for different uh, tasks. Then we have limiter, channel strip, I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Then we have gate and deesser. Those two things are not the same, but I don't use so many plugins for gating and deessing, so I could put them in the same category. Transient. It's all the things that has to do with transient and also drum replacement. And hence is parallel processing, exciters, subharmonic things. You know, stereo is panning plugins and stereo widening tools, etc. Then you know these categories, reverb, delay, modulation. And then we have distortion slash analog. This is tape simulators and also distortion plugins that's not meant for guitar like Decapitator from Sound Toys and Saturn from FabFilter and so on. And then amp, well amplifier simulations, filter, pretty self-explained I think, EFX, all those weird step things that you might need sometimes but not so often if you want to do some kind of effect thing and you don't know what category you want to put it in, that's EFX. Pitch is pitch shifters and also auto-tune things like pitch correction tools. Utility, face corrective plugins, gain plugins, things that tools that don't make a sound but you might need them. And then metering, that's my categories. So, so let me now show you how it looks in my door with these categories. So I go to Logic Pro, Audio Effects slot, and then we have my categories here. So let's gate DS. I have Expander, I have a DSer, and I have a Pro G, fabulous gate, and so on. Transient, not much there. Reverb, a few more. EQ, maybe 10, 12 EQ plugins. That means I can easily find what I'm after. Let's look at Logic's plugin manager and I will show you how you can create categories and also add and remove plugins. So Logic Pro, settings and plugin manager. This is now all my plugins. And here we have the categories. Let's say I want to add another category. Just click the plus sign and we have untitled. But let's um, change this to clown. Uh, and I want to add a plugin to that because now this uh, folder is empty. So show all plugins and then I want to add, let's say, uh, the flare from uh, Native Instruments. I just press on the flare and drag it to the clown folder. So now when I press the clown folder, I have the plugin flare. Let's close the plugin manager and go to our effect slot and we have a clown category with the plugin flare in it. Let's say I want to remove it. Settings, plugin manager, and uh, I want to remove that. I just pr press delete. I want to remove that folder. I just press delete and it's gone. Now I want to add an EQ to my EQ folder. So show all and I will go to analog obsession and I will add the Q 
OQAQ, OAQ, uh, OAQ. I will add that. So I just drag that to e to the EQ folder, and now it's it is is it here? Yeah, it's on the top. Now it's there. So now I can uh, have that in my favorites folder. It uh, takes some time to do this and also some planning before you are able to do it because figure out what categories you want first. And also my tip is to name them with the number first, like 01 EQ, 02 compressor and so on, because then those folders will be in that order in your plugin list. But it's worth it. It's worth it for every time you're working later on to have quick access to your favorite plugins. I change this constantly. Take away plugins I don't use so often and add plugins I use more and more. But after you've done the first initial categorize template, it's very easy to add and remove plugins from your favorite list. Well, that was all for this video. The Swedish word of today is categories. It's close to the same in Sweden. Kategorier. Kategorier. <laughs> Until next time, Roger that.